Hi, Charlie. Hi, Carly. Hi, Norm. So, have you ever done anything like this before? I've actually never installed a skylight, but I'm really excited to learn. All right, well, we're going to teach you. Now, it's a fixed skylight, right, Charlie? It is. It's 22 by 46, and it's going to run parallel with the outside wall. Right. So, we've done some layout. So, here's the center line of the skylight, and it's going to go out to this end and this end, which means we're going to have to cut some of these out in the middle. But before we do that, we want to put the rafters on the ends. So we're going to double up some 2 by 10s and they're going to sit on top of the exterior wall and on the bearing wall in the middle. That's where we'll get started. Perfect. So Carly, the reason we had you bevel that top edge is that in order to flip this rafter in place up against the bottom of the roofing boards. Okay. You need to have that bevel. If it was square, it would be almost impossible to have uh, it flip through. Gotcha. So that gets up there nice and plumb. So for now, we're going to slide it over to the edge, bring in the next one. Now, before we put the second one in, we want to put a bead of construction adhesive along this top edge. Okay. And that will bond the rafter to the sheathing that's on the roof. All right, now we'll do the same thing on the other end. Okay. So Carly, now we want to cut the rafters in between. Now that they're cut, let's knock them out. So now Charlie's starting to work on the piece that's going to connect the two doubles. And on the outer edge, we want to put hangers where we cut the joists. So you won't be able to do it after the fact, so that's why he's putting them on now. Okay. All right, Kelly, put that in, and then we'll fasten it around it. That way we know it fits. Okay. Okay, push it in tight. Okay, Kelly, bring that in. Hold it in tight the same way as before. Just put it up against those and get it started on your end. Okay, we're going to try to go up even. Okay. Oh. Right. One more. Hold on, let me do this side. Callie, put yours up, hit it again. Now we can double up this one. All right, so now the last thing to do is put hangers on this side. All right, Carly, now here we have the opening for the new skylight. If it wasn't going to rain today, we'd cut open the roof, but it's going to pour, so we'll leave that go. When we do cut it out, we'll put up a curb, which will raise the skylight above the roof, and the roofers will flash it, and it will never leave. Norm and Charlie framed for the skylights, but it was raining too hard, so they couldn't put it in. So this week, we're going to finish it up. You guys framed up that opening. It looks pretty good. Yeah, we doubled up the rafters, installed the timber hangers as needed. Yep. Just have to snap these lines. All right, so you got the holes already pre-drilled up in the corners. So let's give it an idea where it's going to go. All right, that's the bottom, and okay, now the top. OK, that gives us an idea where it is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from the hole, following this line at about 45 degrees, and cut in to the center. All right, so this is that rubber roof that we installed. Now we'll cut the other one out. Now we'll cut the other two. Connect it down the middle. Okay, now what we're going to try to do is pick this up. I know it's stuck down with the glue, but we've got to be able to roll it back and up. It's 
It's always tricky. The cement really holds well. The thing about this glue, it holds. Now we're actually pull this back, but we're actually gonna have to cut a little further out to make room for the thickness of the curb. All right, that's loose. We gotta peel it back even more, but let's lay the curbing on there. Now, with this skylight, it actually requires that you build your own curve to sit it on. So line it up with the lines there. And because this is such a flat roof, we made the curbing out of two by eights. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna mark the outside of the miter right here of this bevel piece. I like to put this bevel piece on the curve so when the rubber comes up, it doesn't have a real sharp 90. And we'll bring it up and then drop it on like that. All right, let's slide it up. What we gotta do is cut our corners a little bit deeper and peel back more rubber. Do a rough cut, I wanna get this ISO board out of here get this board as underlayment it's actually called an iso board which is an insulation and we don't need it in the opening obviously but when cutting it oversized a little bit we we'll, should be able to see what we're doing now we can see the structure okay now we're going to remove these two center boards right here so we can get some more accurate measurements for our rough open get the boards out of the way and take our measurements on under the rubber pull the rubber up on this side all right we're going to space our header about three quarters of an inch space between the header here and this header right here in our curb and we've centered it in the opening at the top now we'll just screw it down to the roof Now that our curbing is fastened to the roof, we're ready to reattach the rubber roofing to the roof and to the side of the curbing. Contact cement works on gluing to itself. When both surfaces are dry to the touch, the contact cement is ready to go. And you only have one shot at it. We can't just take it and flip it up. We want to roll it into it gently because we don't want to get any bubbles. Push it in, push down at the same time. Just like that. Now we're going to bend it over and nail it. We don't want to have any slop in it. All right, now we're ready to start sealing up these corners. And we can't use this rubber here because when you stretch it, it will go back like a rubber band. So we're gonna use uncured rubber. When you stretch it, it stays stretched and we can bend it around the corner. So we're gonna just take this right here. This is an activator. And I'm gonna just paint it on the rubber and I can go a little beyond my lines. All right, you can see that it's starting to evaporate a little bit right now. So we'll start in the middle, we'll peel off this. Okay, so now I wanna put this one right about halfway here. Where are we? Looks like about half right there. And I wanna be up a little, and we can push that in there. I want to bend it around, but I want to take this bottom piece off before we bend it. Okay, so now keep that up, and I'm going to force this right around the corner, stretching it as I go. So, just like that. Push it right in. Okay, now we're going to force it down and keep it down to the curb, 
and out, just like that. Stretch it, pull it, and push it at the same time. All right, now we have to put a bead of lap sealant on each one of the seams. That will give it added protection. Okay, so the manufacturer's not calling for this, but we're gonna run a bead right across the top and sit the window in that wet sealant. Just a little added protection. All right, let's get the unit, drop it on. Okay, we'll put it on there, center it. Beautiful. All right. Check the center and we'll screw it off and that'll be watertight. Looks good. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.